you exactly. paraglide on yeah, 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 dude. That was a classic. I no, played those, that those game a lot. Those games are amazing. Yeah. Although I tried the Super Monkey Ball, like, story mode. Uh, that's hard as crap. Yeah, but yeah, it is. That's neither here nor there. We're getting into it. Dark vs. Mr. Postman. Uh, quickly, we see uh, Dart establishing center. Mr. Postman at the edge. See if we can get this edge guard. Dart getting a pretty, pet, pretty fat punish as well. Yeah, 105. Oh, Ooh, almost wow. the Thundercats. Almost, almost the Dart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. Good Dart, finish. Dart loves that uh, up smash. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Mr. Postman getting started. Uh, able to like grab grab center stage again with the invincibility, but then gets grabbed unfortunately after the nice Ooh, string. Solid shine. Yeah, good shine. He's probably gonna have to. I don't think Dart's gonna miss ledge though. Right. I don't think he's gonna be able to get that shine spike. I would give him a little more credit and just hold center stage. Exactly. And sometimes that that's that's the issue, right? We were talking about how Fox versus the Luigi should have like kind of held the ledge and like you know tried to edge guard. Whereas in matchups like more traditional in the sense that's like you know top eight like Marth Fox, Fox Falco. Sometimes it's a little bit hard. It's a little bit punishing to like try and go hard for that punish when you can start going for center stage because um, right. if you do screw up, you uh, lose a lot of. Um, you lose a lot of pressure and stage presence. Exactly, and it could end up being turned around on you. Exactly. A lot of things you'll see with top players is instead of going off the stage for a risky edge guard, they might just, you know, stay on stage and wait until the person gets up from the ledge and then just punish them. Right, exactly. As they're trying to get to center stage, so we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, it's looking real rough for Mr. Post, man. Uh, Dart. Known, known mostly, I think, like towards the globe for his Falcon, but definitely know how, knows how to destroy Fox. Yeah, no slouch in the Spacey's <laughs> matchup at right. all. Oh, jab. Oh, great ankle and fastball. Mr. Postman not lying down, but uh, Dart just kind of otherworldly with this punishment. Dart game. showing why he's uh, my arm ranked, right? <laughs> Mr. Postman might be a great player, but uh, no, yeah. There's definitely I mean, levels Post in melee. Mr. Postman definitely, like, yeah. Mr. Postman definitely showed that he's no slouch in, in uh, playing the game of melee. Just um, there's levels, right? <laughs> to quote, to quote, homie waffles. Oh, I love me some home. If there's an inspiration for me, in this <laughs> commentary right now. It's oh, oh my god, beautiful European chem combo. Right. All right, so I. I expect we'll be seeing maybe a Pokemon Stadium or a... Dreamland counterpick. I'm assuming Dreamland's banned. Yeah, so... But, uh, so Pokemon Stadium, yeah. yeah. Uh, I was trying to cover if he ban if Dart decided to ban Pokemon. Although, you know, as much as uh, uh, Fox kind of loves the stage, Marth also, I think, likes the, makes the stage as long as there's no transformations, right? Like, Ooh, that was a very nice idea. Yeah, another one. Right, I think that's the key is uh, no transformations, but... Uh, the unfortunate part is that Fox just tends to win on yeah, almost yeah. all of them. So right, but uh, that is a thing a lot of uh, newer Mars are starting to favor, like especially QQU is this stage, right? Right. This used to be exclusively a Fox uh, favorite stage, but we're starting to see that change. Oh, we'll try that again. Good fair out of shield, pushes him away. Let's see what he can get off it. Mr. Postman holding center pretty well, keeping uh, Dart in the corner. Yeah, Ooh, that was a nice, nice sequence by Mr. Postman. Yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, and see, like we knew, we knew that he's like good at the game. It's just, uh, it's hard to, it's hard to parse through when he's getting sliced up. Yeah. And this was actually something I was talking to uh, another player, Fox Capacitor, about earlier. Is just, for me personally as a Fox player, the toughest matchup I probably have to deal with is just a good Marth. Right. Exactly. Because yeah. that's arguably the counter to Fox in this game. You know, is yeah, yeah, exactly. The spacing king Marth with his sword. So. <laughs> Or Queen with his TR, I don't know what you would call him. I mean, to be fair, it's pretty ambiguous as to what what his gender is. All right, Fox looking to get in the tree, but Dart's not having it. Yeah, if there's, def if there's definitely, if there's a place that he wants Marth to, oh my god. Is that gonna be dead? Oh my god. Yeah. But we were talking about, yeah, definitely if there's a place that he wants uh, Martha B in is that little nook to, like, get, you know, those fat uh, dare shine combos, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, he could have grabbed a ledge and just uh, edge hopped him. Unfortunately. Yeah, Dart's trying to style a little bit, tries to fall Yeah, that would have been a nice... <laughs> yeah, fall off reverse fair, yeah. yeah. Forward tilt, interesting choice from Dart. Yeah. Maybe, little, 
Maybe a misinput, not right. sure. Okay. Shine up throw up air. Could have gotten the shine up smash to maybe secure the kill a little easier, you know, to avoid a SDI, but ooh. Oh. Yeah. As I say up. that, Dark just cleans it up. Right, exactly. Looking mighty nice. It's really hard for uh, Fox to contest the Martha as invincible because